Happy Monday to all you tactical moms and dads out there and non-parents. Welcome back to the episode of the Tactical Everyday Dad. Today we have the ProTech TR3 MC1. Let's check it out. As you see, your typical ProTech packaging. Nice exquisite box. Little bit of snippet information there with their handle for Instagram, as well as their limited lifetime warranty information. Always comes in a nice Pro Tech branded bag. Excuse that large engine. I don't know why everybody around here wants to have a very loud car. Always has the caution sharp handle with care sticker. Seals the bag. Oh, I know why. Today is a, they're not a noise of cars. Those are motorcycles. I forgot. Today is a very beautiful day. Everybody's trying to flex their muscle by riding the bikes they couldn't ride all winter. So I see still has oil from the factory. This has the upgraded smooth activating safety. Usual protect kick. Overall length this guy eight inches. Blade length is 3.5 inch. Blade thickness 0.13. Sorry, little piece of string. It's that kind of a drop point blade. You got your nice light stone wash finish. Magna cut, of course. This is the aluminum handle. Handle length is 4.5 inches, while the thickness is 0.49 inches. It is a deep carry pocket clip. Not really. It sticks out that much um, in your pocket. Generous lanyard hole. Nice construction. Has the signature kind of fish scale um, detailing on this. And then this guy's overall weight is 3.68 ounces. This gets you some everyday size comparisons. We got your everyday big pen. I'm sorry, Sharpie. And your everyday big pen your toy car your Ontario rat 2 Get the Ontario rat 1 Spyderco pair 3 and the Spyderco PM2 Benchmade mini bug out and the Benchmade full-size bug out. All right, let's check it out in the pocket. You got your everyday jeans. Wear a size large glove. Plenty of room in the pocket. You got your everyday golf shorts. You got your everyday basketball or athletic shorts. All right, let's put it through some everyday parent tasks. Here's one layer Amazon or diaper box. That one that I messed up that was user error. I don't know why I held it like that. <laughs> All right, now your double layer Amazon, I'm sorry, Lowe's or Home Depot box. Throw some glue on it. Hopefully that doesn't do nothing. Interesting. Hmm. Five fifty paracord.
interesting again. Different size zip ties. Not too shabby. Everyday <laughs> water milk jug. Interesting. Sorry. Got some of that old milk in my face. I didn't want to go in my mouth. <laughs> Your general leather belt. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right. Let's put it through the seatbelt test. At an MSRP around $260 from your favorite online knife dealer is the updated Protect TR3 MC1 worth the cash. I am a huge fan of automatic knives with a lock just because it doesn't happen, it really happens. It's one in a million chance, but it has happened to me where this button has been pushed to the point where in my pocket it has launched an OTF or no, I'm sorry, not OTF and out the side automatic. So I like to have these just because, you know, with having children, they're always jumping on you, wanting to rough house and play and stuff. And I just don't need to have on the back of my mind a concern where if I have keys just in my pocket, the keys happen to fall into this groove and hit here, and then this hits my leg, and then all of a sudden, that goes off my pocket. And with Protect, you guys know these things punch like a freaking heavyweight champion when it comes to their springs, as you can see. That takes a lot of force. Um, when it comes out, it delivers a lot of force. So where, you're, as you can see, I'm a pretty strong dude, and even you can see my hand shake when that deploys so it's a very strong spring i love that they upgraded the steel finally on you know tr3s there's always been the cpm 154 cms um, which is a great steel i love 154 because it's ease of sharpening tough you know very good for what it is it's stainless steel uh, 154 has always been a knife steel that i use as an everyday carry However, with the hype and the growing popularity of MagnaCut, it's a great choice just because it is tougher than 154. Even more corrosion resistant. As easy as to sharpen, a little bit harder maybe. Um, but they try to make MagnaCut not too hard for, you know, your everyday person to sharpen. And of course, I love that they threw the old school fish scale designs on this one. I do wish they would upgrade their pocket clip, so that's only one thing. So yeah, this, this is not really a new knife, guys. And just to also update you, the new safety is so smooth compared to the old safety, but not many guys know about safety just because I'm one of the weirdos that wants a safety on my automatics. Just like a firearm, I practice to disengage, then depress, disengage, depress, disengage, activate. So it's not hard for me. It's, it's what I prefer. So for me, this is a welcomed upgrade in steel, ease of lock. Always a great design from Protec. Had a little issues with uh, the cutting test. It wasn't as you know easy as a lot of other knives I have gotten. I don't know what was up with that. This is straight out of the box. I've never been used. Factory edge. You know it does say it comes extremely sharp in the box on the sticker. However, it wasn't extremely sharp. So I don't know what's that about. But like all my Knife reviews, take it as dad advice. Use it to form your own conclusions on if you like to include in your everyday carry or not. And I don't know where that just came from out of nowhere. <laughs> well, will it be? Well, let, let me iterate that. So 
Take all my videos as data advice, listen to them, however, use it to form your own conclusion. And if you'd like to include this in your everyday setup or not, the choice is yours. Sorry again, guys, for that siren that kind of uh, alerted me a little bit too because there's some crazy things going on here in Detroit. So, as always, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you on the next one.